Hello everybody. I'm going to say a few words about uh, Forgiveness, Love and Power Theta Healing class, elective, that I'm doing and that uh, now I can uh, do it online. It is approved by Think Institute. And uh, this class actually brings a uh, lot of healing, a lot of love, a lot of uh, forgiveness, joy, power into your life. Jesus Christ, he was, he was talking about forgiveness and love and he was uh, emphasizing how much is this and only, uh, only teaching people to love and to forgive. Those, these two things are very connected. These two things are uh, following each other. Like you cannot really love either yourself or anybody else unless you truly forgiven yourself and others. Uh, in order to forgive yourself and others, you really need to understand yourself and others to understand why you have done what you have done in your life, why you didn't do what you didn't, why other people did this to you, what was happening in their life and what was going on in their life. And to really to understand, I mean deep understanding, deep intuitive understanding that we need to realize in order to forgive. To, to and to accept uh, people as they are, to accept yourself as you are, and to really be happy uh, with all your life, whatever happened before, and uh, be grateful for your life, be grateful to others, what they have done to you, even you might didn't like that at first time. So once we uh, truly forgive, then really all this resentment, hate, all this, you know, what we've been working for so many years, these fears, these uh, grudges, this feeling of guilt, feeling of regret, rejection, remorse, all this is no more playing significant part in your life. All this is just... Uh, uh, no more affecting your life, no more creating your life. True forgiveness really is uh, true forgiveness is really making you so strong, so powerful. It is not weakness to forgive. It is the really uh, I I could say really big strength, big power. Uh, that you, that you, can, uh, if you can do it, and actually you're coming into your own power, and actually what uh, you, you opening yourself through all good things, through all abundance that Creator wants to give you. you opening yourself to health, you opening your heart, you know, you opening your heart chakra, you're finally able to love yourself and others, and also, it, you finally able to receive love. So if we are really out of love, if we are not able to receive love, then we are really cut off life completely. We are cut off energy of creation. We are cut off. We are, we are isolated, separate self that really uh, has difficulties <laughs> in this life, you know, then we suffer, we have drama, then we that, then we live in fear, in worry, then we, then we live in uh, so many things that are not necessary, that are really artificial and they, they are artificially made up from our mind. So, uh, really to through forgive, to truly forgive and have this attitude in your life, that really means that you coming back into your own power and that you protect it. And that really means that all kind of 
healing happening to your genetic line, to your mother, father, all this genetic healing is happening by you forgiving yourself and forgiving your mother and father. Uh, we all know that God is forgiving God. It is not God that hates, that uh, God that uh, wants to kill, God that wants to revenge. No. You know, and we are like God. So we work with creator of all that is, with energy of love. But if you do not have love for yourself or for others, how, what kind of work is that? You know, so uh, by forgiving, by loving yourself, by feeling that you're really powerful divine being, and that you can manifest, that you can create, that you can do, and that you, whatever, and that you free, free being, free person, free from uh, all this past that happened to us, from all these events, from all these feelings of guilt, remorse, you know, regret. This is great thing, this is great freedom, this is great achievement that you can do it. And I'm talking about true forgiveness, not this, look, I, I do muscle testing, I forgave, no. I forgave, but I will never forget. Not like that. I, I forgave, but I don't want to see my mother. I for, forgave her, but I don't want to call her. This is not really forgiveness. When you truly forgive, then you're truly grateful, then you truly in touch with your inner being, with you, that you in touch with the being of other, with heart of other, with your heart, then you realizing that each person, each event, everything that happened in your li life had a great meaning. It uh, that uh, had great, uh, I would say, knowledge or lesson or or some message for you. And uh, I believe that all your choices and choices of others, they all been right choices and uh, that you actually doing your best and you did your best and same is with others. And I know when you really forgive and love yourself uh, uh, truly and forgive yourself and others, it is like new birth. It is like new birth that is coming into your, you born again. And then we need to celebrate, you know, we will have good time together and make some good uh, party or whatever. And uh, I, I'm uh, happy we have something called dynamic meditation because that you really celebrate and that you dance and that you, that you, experience this forgiveness in the moment and also in this class we are going to speak with divine mother it is called invocation of divine mother that then we ask divine mother mother of this universe to bring us healing to bring to accept our manifestation accept our life and to when you feel this love of divine mother then really it is then you feel that this is something really amazing and then you have desire to go there all the time we are uh, going to do many deep diggings and healings and uh, bring and i believe this will bring so much transformation in each area of your life thank you very much